I'm here at Structure 2012 with Josh McKenty from Piston Cloud. Uh, Josh, tell us a little bit about Piston Cloud. Um, describe the company. Sure, thanks Colleen. So I was one of the co-founders of OpenStack uh, back when I was leading a team at NASA in 2010. And then early in 2011, I, uh, together with some other NASA and Rackspace colleagues, launched uh, Piston Cloud Computing. We are essentially the red hat of OpenStack. So we sell a secure, supported, and easy to operate distribution of OpenStack for use by large enterprises to, to build private clouds. Um, as the cloud ecosystem evolves, it seems like there's many operators, there's many uh, options for people out there. What's the benefit to the customers of using an OpenStack implementation? Wow, uh, enormous. Uh, let's say OpenStack is uh, open source, Apache 2 licensed, so all of the benefits of a large open source community, and when I mean large, I mean you know 3,700 people from 175 companies uh, comprising about a trillion dollars in market cap. So everyone from IBM and Red Hat through to Dell and HP on the, on the hardware side, through AT&T and Rackspace as, as major service providers. So your distribution is for people to then use in-house, or are you doing That's a hosted correct. solution? We don't we don't run anything for anyone other than an update service uh, and a support center. But uh, the, yes, this is for customers who really, either for cost reasons or for security concerns, want to have their own capabilities in-house. We've also ended up partnering with a number of, of service providers who are providing hosted private cloud offerings, uh, where again, they're delivering that, that guaranteed performance, the SLAs, and the, and the security considerations. So what service providers have you partnered with? Uh, we've announced a partnership with BroadCloud. Uh, they are uh, mostly provider to, again, governments and, and large financial institutions. They have Tier 4 certified facilities. Uh, one of the founders, some, some X three-letter agency folks involved there, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. So in January, you released your product for the first time. What's been the uptake in that in terms of cons customers? It's, it's been fantastic. I mean, the big announcement we made in April at, at the OpenStack Summit, we had a keynote by one of our production users, Radio Free Asia, which is, again, a U.S. State uh, Department funded nonprofit that uh, runs a number of, of infrastructure as a service offerings across Southeast Asia, Cambodia, Hong Kong, etc., uh, to provide free internet access, as in free as an unfiltered, um, and access to democratic uh, media in, in countries where really democracy is not a, a popular option. Um, we have a number of, of small and large scale proof of concepts and, and evaluation deployments going again for, for customers uh, that aren't really comfortable being named. So you had said you had uh, announced a partnership with VMware? That's right, uh, around Cloud Foundry. So one of the things we discovered, and a bit of an advantage of being the first commercial OpenStack distribution available, is uh, we've been getting a lot of early feedback from folks on what they're actually using OpenStack for. Uh, it turns out application development is pretty central to this, but folks were looking for a way to, to mix an infrastructure as a service environment with a platform as a service offering. And ironically, Cloud Foundry, developed originally by VMware, is the most open and open source solution for platform as a service, and the DNA of that project really mirrors what uh, OpenStack has done in the infrastructure layer. So we partnered with VMware to build a, a Bosch CPI layer, essentially the interface that allows Cloud Foundry to run seamlessly on top of OpenStack, and now we're supporting that. In the Excellent. So what's ahead for your company? Uh, world domination. <laughs> I think actually Read Right Web ran a, an article at one point on a photo of a cake we had that was our world domination pie chart. Uh, so, so quite literally world. No, uh, we're really growing the channel ecosystem this year. So uh, you'll see more and more announcements around our channel partner program. Uh, and uh, we have actually some exciting, again, those solutions and use case partnerships. We have some announcements coming out next week in that regards as well. Oh, excellent.